Hi everybody, meteorologist Danielle Noyce here for the One Degree Outside Weather Network. Want to give a shout out to the Murphy School. Check it out in my hometown of Weymouth, Massachusetts. Had a chance to go down there yesterday afternoon and spend some time with the kiddos. We had a great school visit. This is the entire school and all the teachers too. Kindergarten through fifth graders talked all about meteorology and science. I had a blast. Thank you for having me. I put a video of the kids too on our website of them screaming so excited. Check that out at OneDegreeOutside.com. All right, let's get to our coastal marine forecast. Storm center to our south. We'll say to our south, we're on the fringe. So a northeast wind, some pockets of rain tomorrow. We'll take a bit of showers in the afternoon. Now about five to 10 knot wind speeds from the New Hampshire sea coast to the coast of Maine. It kicks up offshore and that's why the seas also kick up offshore. So advisory is a bit of a chop out there. Some reduced visibility as well. Some areas of rain in the morning along the south coast. Taper, I'd say, from early afternoon we're onward. 10 to 20 knot wind speeds, though, and 3 to 6 foot seas. Same in eastern Massachusetts, a little bit stronger on the outer cape in terms of some gusty winds, and a little bit less wind farther from the storm center uh, along the coastline of Maine. Now, by the time we get to Friday, the storm's farther south. We're kind of wedged in between here with a weak area of high pressure. Still an onshore breeze, 3 to 5 foot seas, although farther offshore, still 3 to 6 footers out near the Scotian Shelf closer to the coastline, particularly the main coastline, it's two to four foot seas. And while I'm not anticipating any wet weather, there may be some lingering fog banks, particularly off the coastline of Maine during the day on Friday. Patchy fog may also be a concern this weekend too. There'll be a lot of clouds around. And I do think it's a mainly dry weekend, but there's still a chop out there. In fact, the seas will probably continue to build on Saturday, four to six feet offshore, three to five feet along the south coast, five to seven when you get south of Nova Scotia, and still three to five footers for some rough seas off the coastline of Maine too. It'll be pretty similar on Sunday, some higher seas, especially from Emerald Basin down to the Scotian Shelf. Along the south coast, still three to six foot seas. The lower side, closer you are to the coastline, more like five to six footers offshore, and a wave period of about three five to seven seconds across the board during the day on Sunday. That's the latest forecast for now. We'll keep you posted on everything and stay tuned for another weather update from us tomorrow morning.